off the two bases real quick. All right, so you guys remember from the Let's Play, this was our base, yeah. We had our normal little base right here that we uh, we set up, and this was everything. This was how we, we got going. Oh, wow, she's been on today. Okay, so this is, uh, this is the main base right here. Oh, yeah, full screen. My apologies. My apologies. Thank you. Uh, this is the first uh, first base. Uh, this over here is Oppie's. Now, Oppie, I got to give her... Hang on. You can see Oppie right here. She's busy. She's, uh, she just built this, uh, right here. This little section right here wasn't here earlier today when I got on. So she's actually connected it to the base, which is awesome. Um, so let me go ahead and take you guys inside. We're going to be reworking everything probably today. Uh, but you can see she knocked out the wall here. So we're going to have a nice little wall. It's going to take us all the way over to here. And this, I believe is what I'm going to make my Emmy room. This right here will be my computer uh, set up, etc. So this is where, this is where we will be building all of our ME systems, and I'm probably going to build an underground chamber to build our, um, what do you call it? Our cube, our, our crafting cube. Uh, the mod pack is FTB Unleashed. Uh, we have added a few of the disabled mods, everything but vending and death timers. Uh, this over here is MMT's base. Uh, now. <laughs> I gotta sell MMT out a little bit, just a little bit. Uh, you're gonna notice she's got the little uh, little support stilts. She she shamelessly copied them from Remco, so I'm pretty sure Remco is gonna file a copyright infringement claim against her. Uh, there's gonna be a DMCA, uh, and it's gonna be a nasty legal battle. But I have the prototype, so it's all good. Uh, you can see that she's got them all the way down to the substructure down there. And they look really, really nice. Uh, she also built me a nice little staircase. And uh, she punched a hole in the wall here. Um, I will probably eventually set something up a little bit prettier or have her or Oppie's girl set something up a little bit prettier here for me. Uh, this right here, though, we're going to use to uh, set up the, um, the machines. So what I'm probably going to do is down here is going to be either thermal expansion or IC2 or um, we're going to have the actual physical factory. For those of you guys who remember uh, in the live stream, I was really, or not the live stream, but in the judging, I was really fond of the, uh, what do you call them? the conveyor belts, even though they serve no purpose whatsoever other than just looking cool and creating latency. Um, I still like the way they look. So we're gonna end up having some of those somewhere here. I'm not quite sure. Um, but anyways, uh, up here will be the other setup. Now, the other thing I need to ask MMT to do is I need roof access here. Oh no. MMT, you locked me in, you bastard. Um, Okay, so she used, let's see, let me get it set up. She probably just missed that. Uh, what is it? Pressure plate, where's the clear one? Let's see, pressure plate shrouded. Is that like a clear pressure plate? What's it called? Well, damn it, Bobby. Now I don't know what it's called. Um, here, we'll just put a, I think I can put a button here, can't I? Trying not to mess with her setup um, too much. All right, so bam, there we go. All right, what's this thing called right here on the ground? A pressure plate shrouded. Okay, and we'll just put that right here. Is it working? Oh, well, fudge. So I guess it's not gonna work. Yeah, hmm. All right, well, I'll have her solve the problem. I'm not exactly the smartest builder when it comes to pressure plates and buttons and shizzle, so we're going to get her to set that up for me because I'm apparently too dumb to get it working. Redneck power. Oh, come on. There we go. Uh, finally, up here, I'm going to have her give me some access up here. Uh, we're going to set either a ladder or have the... Uh, 
what do you call it, the staircase, go up another floor. And I'm gonna put all my IC2 power setups up here. So this will be where we're gonna put the IC2, um, what do you call them? The, uh, fuck, solar panels, there we go. Man, sorry, Pyro's having a, having a hard day functioning today for some reason. You ever have one of those days where you just don't sleep well at all and like just your brain completely shuts down and doesn't work at all? Yeah, it's, it's kind of one of those days. I'm also not quite sure why this isn't working anymore. Oh no. Did my, th there's no way it filled up. There's no way. Oh shit. Yeah, the power shut off again. Damn it. Okay. Well, this isn't that big a deal um, because we did plan for this because um, I'm an idiot. So <laughs> let's get out of creative now. Um, okay, so last time, you guys remember, my oil reserves have been draining pretty badly. You can see over there, they're gone, actually. Um, I've been spreading out further and further and further trying to find oil and, well, we're just, we're just out. So uh, about four... Ooh, I don't know, eight episodes ago, we were talking about... Do I have my wrench? Yes, I do. Let me go ahead and throw that button away. About eight episodes ago, we were talking about switching over to carpentry and carpentry mining. Or not mining, uh, fuel sources. We're basically forestry fuel. There we go. We were going to set it up and use um, biofuels and the like. We're going to use that. Um, unfortunately, I've still got to get our system fired back up over there, and we have no oil. So we're going to have to re-rig our system at least temporarily. And I guess this actually works out good. Um, a lot of times when you think about power and being out of power, it's like, oh, well, you know, you can't do anything. Well, yeah, you're technically right. But we have to move everything anyway, so I guess it's kind of a good choice or a good time to be out of fuel. What the hell? Did it drop? Where did it go? Oh, dude, I... Is that it? No, that's a... What the hell? Aw, oh, man. I have got to find that thing, because without it, I'm kind of screwed. And not in the way Pyro likes. All right, there we go. Okay, um, yeah. one of the guys pointed out that both of the winners for the FTB build contest were female. Um, I did not know MMT was a girl until after I already won or told her she won the contest. So in my, fa in, in my you know, uh, defense, I did not know MMT was a girl. Um, that being said, I liked both of their builds. So, and all of you guys liked their builds, so it's not a sexist thing. Thank you very much. Okay, so what we need to do now is I need to get uh, some of this stuff moved from this location. And we, as you can see, we are completely drained on everything. So we're gonna need to move everything out of here and into the respective spots. Um, we're gonna be breaking down these oil refineries or these uh, smelteries anyway. Uh, and finally, we're gonna actually end up breaking the ME cables. Uh, I don't know who thought, one of you guys probably listed how many episodes um, when we placed this cable nastily right here. I said, all right guys, how many episodes do you think it's gonna be before Pyro manages to get rid of this? And uh, somebody probably correctly picked the right episode number. So whoever it was, congratulations, you win a cookie. So if you can, if you can link to proof that you uh, that you actually picked the correct episode number, and it's dated back then, not right now. Like you, you don't watch this video and go, "Oh, Pyro CI commented," you know, and the date shows today. Um, as long as it's correctly commented, I might throw you some kind of special perk. So if you can have proof, and the proof is key, let me know, and uh, I will I will verify said proof, and we'll see what we get. All right, so we need to get rid of all this crap uh, we're not going to be using I don't think refineries anymore period now we're going to be using biofuel uh, which is kind of going to suck because at least for a little while um, we're going to be kind of low on energy output well actually no we're not 
because we have uh, we're, we're up to what medium voltage now we have two medium voltage or just one this is high voltage yeah so we have one HV solar array that ought to produce plenty of power for us I, I don't think we're gonna have problems all right I'm gonna go ahead and sleep get some bed uh, exotic what does subscribing do if you subscribe to my stream obviously uh, half of that money goes to supporting me which uh, is a huge help it lets me eat which is nice um, the other bit oh I forgot she's here uh, Oppie we got to get you a bed <laughs> we gotta get you a bed um, unfortunately I don't have one so I think we're just gonna have to deal with it I am gonna turn the rain off though I hate rain anyways um what the hell was I talking about I completely forgot while we were sitting there waiting Ah, uh, no worries, Abby. We'll get it figured out. Oh, crap. Um, hmm. There we go. And then I need to break that. And then... How am I going to get out of here without trapping something I need back down here? Uh, I'm just going to punch this block. There we go. That's the easy solution. Now we're out. Yes, the floors are a little different. Um, we may end up changing the floors uh, in here anyways. I kind of like this version. It's a little bit brighter than this version, which is a little bit darker. It just kind of depends. Oh, I was talking about what subscriptions do. Um, when you subscribe, uh, like I said, obviously it directly supports me. Uh, it's the best way to directly support me. Plus, we do subscriber Saturdays. Uh, on Saturdays, subscribers pick the game that we play. And if it's a multiplayer game, they get first crack at actually playing with me. So, for instance, let's say one of the subscribers said uh, they wanted to play Battlefield with me. Uh, for next subscriber Saturday then subscribers would get the first four slots on the server and as we get bigger let's say we had a hundred subscribers well we would play on a server or some sort of setup where subscribers would be able to get on and only subscribers would be able to get on for the duration not because we're trying to be dicks and limit it to subscribers only but because you know you guys are supporting me one day a week I support you guys back and it seems to be fair to me there we go. Busting all this up. Uh, we also do subscriber giveaways uh, at least once a month. I've got a couple codes for some uh, humble indie bundles that I need to give away. I forgot to do it last week, uh, and sadly nobody reminded me. Pyro has the memory of a rodent, so it, it definitely helps if people kick Pyro every once in a while, because I have a tendency to forget completely what I'm doing. All right, perfect. All right. Okay, so we need to redo the um, jump, shift, click, nothing in your hand. Doesn't work. We did a whole video on this with Meaty, Mr. Cool. It doesn't work. Reason it doesn't work, we think, is because either the helmet or I don't have uh, one of the force tools in my hand. But uh, the flying does not work with force armor for me. Meaty spent an hour with me trying to figure out why it wouldn't work. We couldn't figure it out and eventually gave up on it. So. All right. So I need to get this set up here away from the wall uh, because I, I kind of want it to be a little bit prettier. I want it to fit in in the middle and kind of stick with Dyer B's original idea and original design. So we're gonna go ahead and bust the boiler up and then I'm gonna reposition it in such a way that it doesn't suck balls. Yes, I'm missing the helmet. Um, the helmet broke uh, about 30 episodes ago. <laughs> <laughs> it broke fairly quickly. Uh, I think it had one of the modifiers on it that kept me from taking fall damage. And so every time I fell down, um, I got pounded. Uh, and so I, I think that was more or less the issue at the time. I may be wrong. Thanks, Limely. I, I appreciate the support there, buddy. Okay. 
When I'm grinding up some ponies tonight and turning them into glue, I will think about you. All right. Bust this open. All right, I don't really need to rewire too much of this uh, because we're not gonna be moving it that far, uh, but we are gonna be moving it far enough away. Right, let's break that. There we go. And there we go. Oh shit. All right, I don't need flowers and I don't need cotton seeds. Okay, beautiful. I'm going to put that there. I'm probably going to rewire it. Okay, so we need to, uh, first off, I'm going to fix, well, I guess I can wait until uh, we get the ME system back up. I believe I le left those creative icons there in creative mode uh, in the chest. I'm not 100% sure. I'm, f You know what? Fuck it. Some people are probably going to call me a cheater, but oh well. Such is life. Dire B created this whole thing in creative. I'm just replacing it. I don't think these blocks are actually creatable in the setup. Maybe they are. I don't know. Either way, I fixed it. Now it's original. That's the way Diaby had originally planned on it being set up. Okay, so now that we've got that, we need to find the hole, which I believe is straight up and down right here. I'm going to toss you in there because I don't care. And you too. Okay. And the flower, for obvious reasons. Okay, so we want to be right here in the hole for the setup, so let's go ahead and drop our new boiler right here. There we go. And then do two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. There we go. And boiler tanks, we need four up. There we go. That's four up, and you can see we're now flush with the wall. So we got that sorted. Perfection. Now while we're doing this, um, I'm going to upload this portion of the moving setup straight to YouTube, but unlike most of my YouTube Minecraft recordings uh, that we stream, uh, I will be wait a minute, what the hell? Why are we missing a block? What the hell? What is going on? Let me log out. Did the server eat one of my blocks? There it is. Okay. Whew. I was about to have a minor panic attack. Holy crap. Okay, we're good. All right. So now we've got that set up. You know, I think we just put it right back where it was. Um, yeah. I think we need to move it out one more. Yeah, we're going to move it out one more. Reason being, and I, I didn't really think about this, is we're going to need to run the cables on this line. So I'm just going to move it straight out from here. So let me go ahead and bust this open real quick one more time. High pressure boiler. There we go. All right, so put that there. No, yes. Yes, that'll work. Okay, break. Oh, actually, no, that won't work. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, well. Okay, fucking... Inventory. See, this is what happens when I don't have an ME system. It gets bad. All right. Break. 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 There we go. All right. So, bam, 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 bam. All right. Boilers moved. We're good. This way, we'll have the room to run the cables up and down both sides. If I use the hammer, it'll break everything, and I didn't really want to break everything again. I just needed to. Not only that, but I don't know if the hammer will actually recognize uh, breaking this. So, and we just lost another block. So we'll have to reload. Give me just a second. And reload. And bam. All right, boiler has been moved. Okay, so now we have the one by one clearance on all sides. We also have the demarcation point where we're gonna set up the boiler. So we're gonna go ahead and break this boiler. Now we know where to put it. I love watching that thing just slide apart. It's beautiful. 
Shift right click. What about it? Shift right click does nothing. What's up, Darth Paper? How you doing, buddy? Mr. Cool, I've told you this twice now. I'll tell you one more time, because apparently you didn't hear me the first two times. The armor does not work. Shifting and jumping does not work. I don't know why it doesn't work, but it does not work. There we go. Hopefully that cleared it up. Right, let's make sure we don't have anything down here. And getting out of here is going to be a bitch. There we are. Okay. So now I need to set this one up. Uh, we're going to have one clearance here. I need one clearance space, one clearance here. So we're going to be setting it up right here. So this is the middle spot. Bam, bam, bam. And there we go. That will be our next boiler setup. Exotic, the server is a private YouTuber server. Uh, at the moment, the only way to get on the server is to win a contest. Uh, currently, the contests are usually build-oriented. That's why you'll see Oppie's girl running around. Her and MMT are the latest winners of uh, the contest. Both of them uh, built something extraordinary for me, which uh, I showed off at the beginning of the stream. And they are both welcome to continue to play on the server. Although, keep in mind, as it is a YouTube server, um, playing on the server, if you're a Minecrafter looking for like an active server, it's not exactly the best active server because everybody that plays on here is a YouTuber. So they're kind of playing for work, which means it's not that they're not playing for fun, but like if you log on and you're playing on a server for fun, you're going to screw around, you're going to talk to people, etc., etc. On a YouTube server, you basically log in, you build your shit, you record your episode, and then you log off. And uh, you kind of do other things in your spare time. Like, you'll probably have your own little private server that you play on. But not going to be this one. So, all right. Uh, yes, I do have the world set up. Um, once I get everything moved, I will re-host uh, the world file updated. So you guys can get the updated version of the world. Oh, shit. I did not think about that. I did not think that one through. All right, we're gonna have to get those pieces back out. There we go. There's the rock crusher. All right, put you down. I'm just gonna put the rock crusher back together for now. There we go. There we go, rock crusher has been put back together. Uh, I'm gonna have to get power going before we can deal with that. Okay. Um, all right, so before we can do that, we need to move the ME system to a spot where it's not going to be a pain in the ass. So let's go ahead and grab, uh, this is just going to be a temporary fix. Um, hang on. Damn it. Come over here. Uh, Domino, yes I did. It, it had a, I don't know, some kind of gravity gun thingy in it. I don't need 30 oak saplings. There we go. Alright, inventory is clear. Clearer. Alright, breaking that. Uh, also, I need to let you guys know, y'all may hear some background noise today. If you do, uh, I have family over because it's Thanksgiving. And uh, my mother is getting a dog today. Uh, a little yipping dog. So if you hear... Oh, son of a bitch. Come on. So if you hear a bunch of yipping in the background, um, I don't think we've gotten the dog yet, but if you hear a bunch of yipping, I apologize in advance for the evil yipping dog. That was not the yipping dog. That was a different dog. What, what, what did you do? Make a dog oppy just to, just to mess with me? <laughs> I bet she did. All right. Um temporarily what we're going to do and hopefully I can do this without screwing up Oppie's build too much let's see let's run over here um okay here we go up 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 alright okay um 
Let's see, where do we want to set this up? I think we're going to put it over here. So, uh, temporarily, let's see. Great, holding shift doesn't stop you from falling. Um, you know, we're just going to do it ghetto, and that's fine uh, for now. Uh, and I, I don't know if I can put a cable through here. I don't think I can. No. We can't. All right, so we're gonna do this temporarily and hopefully Oppie will forgive me. There we go. We're gonna set this up out here. Let's drop our high voltage solar array right here. Um, we're gonna do bam, bam. And then we need our MFSU, which will place here. Is that storing? Yep, sure is. We're gonna turn it around. There we go. If not, I'll feed you to Limely. And you don't want that, trust me. Being fed alive to Limely is quite possibly one of the worst ways to go ever. Alright, so we need an IC2 MV consumer. Slap that right there. And again, only temporary guys. I will be uh, sorting this out shortly. VC producer. Energy bridge, okay. So we need the energy bridge next. There we go, we got the BC producer there. And then I should be able to run cables from that into an ME system. What the hell happened? Why did that spit out? You're an IC2 MV consumer, what the hell? What is going on? I don't understand why it's doing that. It should not be doing that. Let's try this. I see two MV consumer. Oh, cause it's MV, not HV. Oh shit, we're fucked now. We are completely, um, is there a way to upgrade this MV consumer? Uh, oh, no, no, no. Can an MFSU take HV? 